What's up, YouTube Revolutions? I'm Infected Gaming 349 at your fingertips. So today, I wanted to talk about this game that got announced about two years ago called The Day Before, and been delayed so much and the developer has not been communicating well with a lot of us who have been very hyped for this game. If you don't know what The Day Before is, it's a game that looks like a mix of The Last of Us and The Division and DayZ put together into one game. Recently, the day before developer known as Fantastic had made a delay from March 1st to November 10th because of some trademark issue. It's a very confusing topic. I actually haven't been following up on this game lately because all I've been hearing is bad news saying the game is a scam and possibly doesn't even exist, so very confusing stuff. I don't want to hate on the day before because these are games that I enjoy. Massive open world zombie apocalypse survival games and when I first heard about this game, I was very hyped. But once I heard the game get delay after delay, I stopped listening to the news about the game and started to set my expectations lower for this game, especially hearing the bad news over the past year with this game. But ever since I heard the recent most bad news, this brought this to my attention. And since the day before has major The Last of Us vibes, and Naughty Dog being super hard at work on an ambitious online standalone Last of Us title, it's been brought to my attention that the Last of Us Online Factions 2 game could potentially bury the day before since the rumors are that Naughty Dog could make this game a fully open world PvEVP type game similar to The Division. It's also said to have a massive story narrative behind the game and possibly have a free to play battle royale but also many many more game modes like the original The Last of Us factions with death matches and also maybe possibly have a horde PvE mode like Call of Duty Zombies with hordes of infected coming at you wave after wave. Both The Last of Us Online standalone game and The Day Before seem like very ambitious titles and I don't want to be biased because The Last of Us is a much bigger brand. But let's face it, what if The Day Before is very successful at launch on November 10th and it actually delivers and turns out to be really fun, but then again, The Last of Us Factions 2 will be right around the corner after The Day Before, either releasing by the end of 2023 or sometime in early to mid maybe 2024 somewhere around there we also need to take this into account since fantastic the developers of the day before did not tell us which platforms will the game be released on the game is supposed to be a pc game releasing on steam we don't know if the game will release on consoles by november 10th so a bunch of us people will potentially miss out on the day before the Last of Us is a PlayStation exclusive and definitely will be a major launch on PlayStation, but since nowadays PlayStation exclusives are now available on PC, we don't know if The Last of Us Online game will release at a later time on PC or at the same time. Let's say if the day before is gonna be on PC but The Last of Us Online releases on both PlayStation and PC sooner than the day before can get released on any other console, then The Last of Us Online will most likely for sure bury the day before. So the day before is gonna have potentially major competition with The Last of Us Online, so Fantastic needs to communicate much better with their community and not have this super confusing thing going on whether the game doesn't exist or not, and the whole scam thing. I don't know, it's just confusing, I don't know what the hell is going on guys. Fantastic needs a lot of cleaning up to do with this because players may just lose faith and just say hey the last of us factions is coming and naughty dog is a much bigger budget company than Fantastic. so hopefully Fantastic smartens up and makes this game great since we don't know when the last of us online game will release the day before could potentially release first and if the last of us online game is still a few months out or half a year out from the day before then the day before could be the game to possibly play to tide us over till the last of us online game releases but that's all for this topic on the last of us factions 2 versus the day before if you're a fan of post-apocalyptic video games like this, consider subscribing to the channel and ding that bell icon really hard so I can always stay within fast reach of your fingertips when new uploads arrive. Zomfected Gaming 349 over and out.